Hello guys, Jonas here and today in this video of Excess Heroes, it's time to do the Holy Dragon Grants on this day of Monday where it's going to have the light and dark elemental guardian stones. And this is going to be the team that I'm going to be using in order to deal a lot of damage against that stupid dragon, alright? So this is going to be it guys, I'm going to be using the Garf, you know, to provide a lot of sustenance to my team because he provides that plus 20% of HP and defense to all the allies, right? Next is going to be the Fako Garf that provides a lot of HP and defense boost to all my teammates. That's going to help me to sustain a lot of damage incoming from the dragon. Next is going to be the Fate Core Talia. She can provide a lot of heals to all the allies passively and actively both ways. Next is going to be the Fate Core Shmid. He can deal a lot of damage against that stupid dragon. And guess what, guys? He can provide a lot of extra turn to all the allies. And that's going to be really great, isn't it? Next is going to be the Adams. That's going to deal a lot of single target nuking damages. Next is going to be the Shofra again. Oh well, he's for the damage out there as well. Next is gonna be the Ramjay to provide some damage against the dragon. Uh, next is gonna be the uh, Fate Core Iris in it for some mana recharge and for damage as well. And April for damage as well and for some heal as well. And next is gonna be the Fate Core Emma as she has the Dragon Knight Blessing and the Head, head Dragon Knight stuff. Definitely she's gonna be a really great help in order to uh, reduce the incoming damage from the dragon and to deal some more damage against that dragon. Anyways, now let's get this started. Let's see how far I can go with the damage itself, alright? With Fate Christmas, I am pretty much sure to deal a lot of damage out there because his second active skill is a very massive single target nuke. So let's see what I can do. So come on, let's get this battle started. Loading, please wait. Alright, so let's skip this one. Times 4 speed, auto it says. <laughs> is it really times 4 speed? I doubt. <laughs> I think it's times 2 speed. Anyways, there we go. Uh, that's some damage out there. Wow, the dragon is actually blocking the incoming damages. That's not actually good for me. Wow, he actually dealt a lot of damage to me. I'm actually waiting for my Fekko Rally to use the second active skill. And that's what it is. Alright, there we go. And that's going to improve the HP and defense stat of all my alloys. So, well, with that, I have a lot of safeguard out there. And Fate Cortalia out there is definitely going to provide a lot of heal from time to time. Wow, the dragon is actually... <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's getting cornered, guys. Alright, so there we go. That's a lot of damage. Alright, from Fate Krishmid. Okay, there we go. Some really good damage, yet again. Alright, so let's keep moving on. There we go. That's nice. Pretty good damage. Okay, so freaking yet again. He got uh, extra turn right away thanks to the... Master Footsteps and the Prey Mark inflicted on the Dragon, thanks to Fate Krishmi that we have. Okay, he's going to attack yet again. Boom, there we go. Oh my god, some of my units died and that is really not a good thing. Shit! And the Dragon is trying to go with the barrage of the stun over and over again. Alright, so Fate Kuradle is going to use the second active skill in order to uh, provide some really good uh, healing. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like his second active skill works in such a way that like it feels like as if he's healing. So that's what it is, but if the dragon is immune while he is using his second active skill, it's not going to work at all. So that is one thing that you gotta also keep in mind. Next is gonna be the Emma herself. Alright, there we go. Uh, providing some mana boost out there. Don't kill my Rodley, don't kill my Rodley. Okay, my Rodley, come on! Come on, Fedgar Rodley, use your second active skill. Come on, Rodley. Come on. Okay, there we go. Some damage from the April herself. Okay, there we go. That's an AoE heal from the Fate Cotalia. So that's going to be some, uh, you know, like relief for my team. Okay, there we go. The first active skill of the Fate Cotalia. That's going to help him to leech some health. All right, come on. Oh, shit. This Fate Cotalia, he just got stunned. Oh, my God. And die. Yes. That Fate Cotalia bitch is dead. My God. Sometimes, I just don't know like how we just... Ah. <laughs> Anyways, let's just keep on moving on guys. Man. Alright, come on. I have no other option. But just to really rely upon my... The, you know, like the, the, the remaining, the surviving uh, hero units out here. Maybe I should have actually used the Fate Core Lapin in order for providing some revive. Yeah, I should have actually done that. My bad. <gasps> okay, Schmidt, critical damage. Oh my god, look at that damage. Ho <laughs> ho! Fate Kurushmid, guys! Fate Kurushmid! That's how it's done! 
And well, that's gonna be the highest damage that you can deal. 848,000 damage. Oh my god, Fedgris Schmidt shaved the day. <laughs> that was the damage that I was actually looking forward to. <laughs> oh my god, Fedgris Schmidt. Even though Fedgris Royalit was not really capable of providing a lot of like help over and over again, but uh, he's you know, like. If he just uses his skill 2 for just one time, that's gonna be pretty much enough. But whenever he's using his second active skill again and again, that's gonna be really helpful to our team because his second active skill really works in such a way that it looks like if he's healing our health because he refreshes the uh, HP percentage uh, stats of our hero units in the team, all right? So that's what, how it works. But anyways, Fedgris Schmidt really did save the day because of the enormous dam damage that he has. And that's how it's done, guys. That's how you are really supposed to deal massive, amazing, insane damage, all right? So that's gonna be it, guys. And that's all I have to say to you guys. See you guys in the next video.